guys, welcome to Hank's Crew Barbecue. Today we're on a pork mission. We're gonna cook a very specific cut called uh, Secreto Iberico, or basically the pig's secret. This is what it looks like when you buy it. As you can see, it's, well, it's not only marbled with fat, there's plenty of fat in there, which is really good. I really like fat because it has loads of flavor and it's good for you. And I figured, well, if we're gonna cook pork, I might as well put on this t-shirt because I actually made this from a cooking class I took with Myron Mixon. And for those of you that know, he's from Georgia, which is like a southern state. And he said, well, he was actually teaching us how to cook a brisket. And he said that, well, in Georgia, where he lives, pork is king, he said. And I thought immediately when I heard that, well, you know, that's a t-shirt, so I'm going to make it. So I made this one. So I figured always wear the proper attire when cooking. So what's so secret about this one? Basically, it's, it's from a specific pig, Iberian breed. Uh, Iberian means uh, Spanish, uh, well, Spain and Portugal, so it's uh, Iberian Peninsula. This one specifically gets, uh, they're being fed with uh, acorns only. There are three different classifications, just like you have prime, select and choice. You have three different classifications of uh, Secreto. This one's called Belota. Belota is Spanish for uh, acorn, so they get fed a lot of acorn. And everybody who knows a little bit about nutrition knows that nuts contain quite a lot of fat, roughly 60 to 65 percent of fat. So fat in, fat out, that's good. Uh, this one's actually embedded in, well between the shoulder and the neck, uh, so it takes a bit of carving to get it out, but it's really worth it. This is just pure pork magic, if you ask me. So. We're going to cook this one and uh, I'll show you how to flavor it and just savor a really, really good piece of pork. So let's get this one open. All right, piggy is unwrapped. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's quite flat and thin. It's almost like a, you know, well, this equivalent of a flank from a cow, only this one's located way further to the front of the animal. Uh, you can see the marbling, all the striations here, it's looking fantastic. What I'm going to do is just cut it in half because it's more manageable than this long, slippery little sucker. Normally, I always dry brine meat, like always, but in this case, since it's so thin, I'm actually just going to grill it over really high heat. And then we're going to add flaked sea salt uh, once it's done and ready for serving. So cooking this one, we're going to do on high heat. Well, actually, not only high heat, but like purgatory hot. Uh, I made a specific grade for my grill so I can get even lower, closer to the coals, to the glowing embers, because distance, the closer we are to the coals, the hotter it's gonna be, and this one's gonna need real high heat. Because I wanna cook it quickly, for one, it's thin, two, the fat's gonna start burning, so I wanna get it nice, up to temp, before I burn too much fat off to keep all that good flavor in there. So, let's get the fire started. All right, here's the pig secret. I've cut it in two, as I said before. I left it out in room temp for, I think, a good hour at least, because I want to get it up to temp a little bit before searing the heck out of it. So now it's time to get some fire going. So the fire is going pretty well. I'm going to get it really, really crazy hot here before we start searing. So while the fire is getting going, I was going to show you the grill grates I made. Really simple, as you can see, the three legs, but when you put this in, you get real close to the fire. And closer to the fire means hotter, so I think this is a good, good option compared to the original uh, grill grates, which would be up here instead. So I've gained, I think, three inches. So getting closer means hotter, and this is good, so we're going to give this one a good run. But a few more minutes before we're ready to sear. All right, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to put the first one on and then the second one next to it and it's going to, the fat's going to start burning so I think I'm going to close the lid for a little while depending on how it goes. Yep, shutting this one. So what I'm going to do now is flip off, flip off and so every 30 seconds or so which is what I usually do even though this is a thin steak so it should be done in a few minutes. Now you can see all that grease catching fire. But we're getting a good sear too. So. And I think we're done. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna shut down the 
grill completely to avoid the grease burning. So we're gonna put the lid on and we're done. So there you have it. As you can see, the muscle fibers are quite easy to spot on this one. Almost looks like a, well, they fan out really. So I'm gonna cut it this way. Actually, I'm gonna do it like this first and then slice thin slices because I'm gonna make a sandwich. Now to try and combine these flavors, I think uh, pork in general goes very well with citrus flavors. Uh, but in this case, since we have a pork that's really fatty, uh, and I'm gonna add quite a bit of salt to it. I wanna have a bit of sweetness, so I'm gonna use mango, thin mango slices. Now take a look, look at this pork, it looks really, really good. Just right. This is the type of pork you don't wanna overcook, so a bit pink in the middle is just perfect. So I'm making quite a few slices here to make some sandwiches. Look again, just right. And the flavor of this is amazing, really amazing. So here's the sandwich, rye bread. Uh, I'm actually not going to put any butter on because, well, it's not needed because the pork is so fatty. So we're going to put a few, well, actually, I'm going to start with the mango first. If you don't have mango, get some peaches or nectarines, works just as well. The flavor combination is fantastic. Now we're going to put some pork on uh, and to top it all off, some uh, coriander. Well, actually, you call it cilantro, I think. And coriander is the seeds, right? And cilantro is the plant, so like that and some salt let's not forget salt really amplifies flavor here and you can add quite a bit on this one because it's rather fatty and there you have it a really nice pork secret sandwich which i think is really good quick sample fantastic the nice thing about this one is it cooks in like two minutes as you can see just give it a good hot sear if you have a griddle, like a Blackstone or similar. I think this is just a perfect match because then you get to avoid all the grease fires you just witnessed recently. But there you go. Time to dig in.